Hello there, classical music fans. My name is Daniel Black. I've got a little bit different uh, video for you. I wanted to share with you an interview that I came across completely by chance while I was watching a documentary the other day. This is a documentary called Germany After the War, produced by BBC in 2005, and it describes the recovery from World War II. But within it, there was a fascinating interview with an African-American jazz musician named Tom McIntosh, who was in the U.S. Army at the time, stationed in Germany, and he describes his interaction with German musicians and talks a little bit about his experience with classical music, both in Germany and in the United States. This interview, I think, really very poignantly describes both the incredible power of music to bring together two very, very different cultures, um, but also the kinds of barriers that can come in the way and, and prevent people from being able to experience this and being able to enjoy it. And it shows, I think, also both the incredible progress that we've made in the last hundred years or so, but also, you know, we remember that we still have a ways to go. Anyway, the interview lasts a little bit less than three minutes, and it's really a fascinating watch. So take a look, and I hope you enjoy. The Fort Manny 7th Army Band, um, they uh, uh, liked to jam with us, and uh, there were a lot of really good musicians in, in that band. Macintosh, for instance, was a trombonist. Tom McIntosh was originally a laundryman in the U.S. Army when he discovered he had a gift for music. He started out playing trombone in the 427th U.S. Army Band. I remember uh, one German musician in particular coming up to says, uh, Macintosh, I, I certainly loved your chorus on T for Two. And I said, oh my goodness, I'm just learning how to play. <laughs> I played piano at that time, played a little jazz for them, and they liked it so much that they asked my band to entertain them on the weekends. So here they are playing uh, the hits of the day uh, in the mood, you know, which is the way it was done in America. They say, and we would sit there just crack up laughing. Of course, I was an amateur, you know, I, I, I was not a professional. So we got quite a lot of experience and loved it. Well, guess what? In no time at all, a cadre of German musicians started to come to the fore, and these guys were superb. Uh, there was a girl by the name of Uta Hip. I mean, what a great jazz name. She was beautiful, but she could play her buns off. Oh, we had a f f feeling of getting free, <laughs> getting more freedom, yeah. Black musicians enjoyed a freedom in Germany that they couldn't find in a deeply segregated America. For the first time, they had access to classical music and were given classical training. Where the uh, Baltimore Symphony played, there was a sign in it, whites only. And I just felt uh, privileged, absolutely privileged, to be a part of this whole European classical music thing for which I've always been told this is the epitome, but you're not welcome. That was a no man's land for blacks. fascinating excerpt from the documentary Germany After the War, produced by BBC in 2005. If you're interested in watching the entire documentary, I'll post a link in the description below. You can watch it for free on YouTube. What do you think about all this, and what do you think about American orchestras and our efforts to open up the concert hall and to be more inclusive to the entire community? I'd love to hear it in the comments. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things. My name is Daniel Black. Thanks for watching.